Project 3.2.1, SAR ADC Oscillator. This is the first project of a series of projects focused on the construction of a successive approximation analog digital converter. In this stage, the power supply is set up as well as the clock source for the control circuit using an inverter, capacitor, and resistors. Successive approximation is a tactic used by computers to analyze analog signals. Essentially what it does is compare the analog voltage reading with a guessed value and with each iteration it becomes a little more precise. This process is repeated several times for the number of bits on a binary output. For most basic microcontrollers, a successive approximation method is used, analyzing an analog input to up to 10 bits. Most microcontrollers have successive approximation registers built into them, but the earlier microprocessors did not have this and instead had the SARs built externally. At this stage, the star ADC only requires 5 volts in ground. However, it will eventually require 9 volts and minus 9 volts as well. Chaining two power sources in series will yield 9 volts minus 9 volts and a 0 volt source in between them and the 9 volt source is regulated to 5 volts for those sensitive components. The main clock for the control circuit does not need to be precise, but it needs to be at a high frequency. This clock source yields about a 10 kHz frequency. It's fast enough to be used by the SAR ADC, but it is also very susceptible to static electricity that might be around it, which can increase it to about 13 kHz or reduce it to about 4 kHz. The clock source frequency is also slightly dampened by any components that could be placed on its output, such as an LED. As more components are added to the SAR ADC project, this clock source output will only be connected to one D flip-flop component. It's a relatively small fixture for the SAR ADC, however, this is the main driver for one of the most important parts of the 7-bit SAR ADC designed by Mitsuru Yamada. This is his schematic. Over the course of this project, I will go into detail on what each component does and how they interact with each other. Thanks for listening.